everybody welcome back I wasn't gonna actually include this lot it was a really slow mail day today and this was just a small lot but then I went flipping through it and I saw a couple of things that were kind of interesting so I wanted to show it to you guys so we're gonna go ahead and start a new mail day with this small lot I did go ahead and open it so it wouldn't take forever but this I thought was neat this is a Zenith Trot Nixon jersey I had forgotten about Zenith I love this Dufex the Dufix technology so I thought this looked really sweet it is not numbered or anything but still uh, this is actual game worn material as it used to be back in the day uh, what year was this I don't see I don't see a year anywhere it's got to be one somewhere but it's got to be down here and it's too small for me to read but anyway somebody might know if you know comment below show off your knowledge of all things sports cards a prism brandon mccarthy uh autograph a vargas prism auto good looking card here cake hafer good old dean cake hafer me and dean we go way back that's right cake hafer all right this is a good looking tops fire dan vogelbach rookie rookie auto that is 2017 tops fire this is numbered out of 75 sweet looking card there Vinny Rotino I don't know but now Vinny Vinny's my boy me and Vinny we go way back for real all right this is 2009 upper deck I actually don't know Vinny Rotino at all if you do then you are definitely more knowledgeable about cards than I am Rob Hammock this is a Donner's Classics autograph. This card looks so good. Significant signatures. Numbered out of 500. God, that card looks good. Even with it being a sticker auto, it's still sweet. McCutcheon jersey. With just all of these cards again. I wish I'd showed you. They were all just falling out of the holders. I don't know what people are thinking. Uh, Angelo Gums. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Angelo either way this is still a sweet looking card too I like heritage I like the look of heritage affiliate of New York Yankees this is the the Tampa Yankees I was wondering what's the TY there now I know uh, Tyler Duffy diamond collection jersey this these are really really they this series they just people did not receive it well the cards did not hold up well they have a lot of wear on them what there's a couple of good names in here but most most of this uh series of relics is kind of blah this is what i thought was pretty neat some gypsy queen stuff got a ryan howard this is 2013 gypsy queen relic mini framed relic very nice peralta 2013 autograph on card oh this is neat too a tops charlie hayes autograph what year is this from? this is numbered out of 99 this is tops reprint so i guess this is like archives i thought that was pretty neat back to gypsy queen geo gonzalez love that little gypsy queen logo down there Scott Diamond autograph on card from the same year Gypsy Queen. Mark Montgomery Bowman Chrome autograph. Again, on card. Not bad. Corey Thompson Red Ink Auto to 25. Franchise Future. Michael Bourne Relic. Alex Cobb. This is 2014 Gypsy Queen and game gear leonis this is 2014 as well anyways that's it i wanted to start a new mail day i thought a couple of those were neat i especially like that older gypsy queen and that dufex trot nixon but that's it i'll pick it up again soon let's do a quick little addition to the mail day video didn't get much early this week i've actually got a lot of stuff i'm expecting from ebay but for some reason sellers are kind of dragging this week a lot of stuff that I won 10 or more days ago that I'm still waiting on so not that it's 
end of the world, but but I really have been looking forward to mail days more and more and more as I've won more auctions. So would be nice if I could get some of that stuff in sooner than later. All right, let's see what we got here. Looks like some football autographs. Let's see. Jonathan Dwyer, 13 score inscriptions auto. Byron Hansbard, I hadn't heard that name in a while. Autographics. Ray Graham, Tops Magic. That was a good looking product, I thought anyway. Signed Rookie Authentics. Who is this? Antoine Womack. There is Isaiah McKenzie. Contenders Auto and another from 2018 Billy Price Tops Field Access. This is Ben Koyak and Kendall Hunter get Tops Game Day Auto. It's a good looking card, really clean, super thin stock, but it looks like it's in pretty good shape to have such dark borders and be so thin. Oh, JJ Stokes. There's another blast from the past. Sign of the Times, SP Authentic Auto. A little bit of wear there at the top, but not too bad. It's got to be older. 2000, where, what, 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 where is it? I don't actually see the, oh crap, there is a damaged corner on the left. That sucks. And I don't see the year either, so it stinks. I'll find it later. Uh, 2000 Contenders. This is... Who is this? Dwayne Hawthorne. European ticket. Oh, that's different. Little autograph on card down here in black. And it's stamped right there too. Chase Edmonds. Contenders. Dion Jordan. Tops Prime. Numbered out of 99. This is like a copper parallel. Ryan Hewitt. 2018 Prestige. The Bingos and Tom Savage. We know he's probably never gonna play again. If he, well, I guess he played a little bit. There he is. Although that could have just been a preseason game. I don't know if he ever played in an actual game. Another one of these European ticket, Salucio Sanford. At least he signed bigger. You can actually see his autograph. All right. Let's see what this one is. This one's heavier. Yeah, definitely more stuff in this one. If I can get it open, though. Nope. Work with me. Hang on. Oh, wait. It's almost there. I try to salvage as much of the shipping supplies as I get in because that's one of the things I spend most of my money on, or a lot of my money on supplies so whenever I buy lots I try to salvage the stuff all right looks like baseball here Donner signature series Felix Jorge that is from 18 optic Gavin Cecchini Cecchini 2017 Heredia this is optic Eric Fetty ready rookie on card auto a Becerra that's a good looking Bowman Tech autograph MJ Melendez Bowman Platinum auto Greg Allen optic Dylan Peters optic at a Belto this is actually the um, as you can see it's the hollow silver parallel version Bassa Bay Bowman Platinum Good looking card there. Villanueva from Stadium Club. Lots of on card stuff in here. Who is this? Jonathan Bolin. 2018 Contenders Draft. Another Optic Rio Ruiz on card. Jacoby Jones, rookie ticket. Mela, 2000, uh, what is this? 2017 or 18? I think it's yeah 18 on card tops chrome scribner good looking stadium club rookie auto back to tops chrome Ryder jones 
Will Banfield Topps debut autograph. Here's another Topps Chrome, but this is the refractor version, which looks infinitely better than the plain version autograph. Uh, what is this? 2017 Gypsy Queen, another on card. Paul Blackburn, great looking Stadium Club Auto. That is just a really, really nice card. Back to Chrome. Moranta, Reyes Moranta. Back to Stadium Club. Ryan Shrimp. Shrimp. Shrimp, not shrimp. Another on card. Jeff Hoffman. Heritage rookie autograph. On card. Very nice. Braden Bishop. This is Bowman Paper Auto. And these are just filler cards to fill up the container but we'll look at them anyways just for fun tops Biggio Biggio looks tired there he's he's had it he's had a day Jeff Weaver and Jeff Kent I forgot about Jeff Kent I always liked him this is 2006 upper deck I think is what that says be the first to crack the code from Allen and Ginter 2015 a 2005 tops checklist several of those a checklist two checklists from 2006 Bowman I like checklists they're kind of cool too it's it's nice to go and look at the names and just flash back to the players that you just haven't thought about in a while like Andrew Jones Johnny Damon for call Raphael for call hadn't thought about him in a while Pos Posada who else we got on here Scott Casimir there's Jeff Kent Pujol Sabathia Austin Kearns I forgot about him Jason Bay Mike Sweeney I always liked Mike Sweeney Jason Giambi Chavez Halliday oh my little Paul Canerco oh and there's Mike Piazza Anyways, I think checklists are kind of neat. I'm sure there's somebody, a couple of people at least out there that collect checklists. And that would be a uh, a pretty fun endeavor, I would think. Or at least, I mean, not as your main collecting, but as a as a side piece, <laughs> as a side collection, then I think that would be cool. Anyways, I'll pick this back up with tomorrow's mail. All right, all right, all right. Let's wrap up this mail day video. We've got three more packages in today. This should be enough to complete this next video. All right. What are we looking at here? Jason Botts for the Rangers. What brand is this? Tops Cosigners, I think it says. 2006. Good looking card. Uh, Luke Jackson, Topps Chrome Refractor Auto, Rookie Auto, on card, very nice. Uh, Luis Mendoza, SP Authentic Rookie Card Auto to $2.99. I like these little cut autos. I think that's kind of neat. That is from 2008. Dual Signatures. Neftali Feliz and Robbie Ross. A lot of wear on the top of this one, but I like these two. Although, uh, this is 2012 SP Signature Edition. Although it is kind of weird to not at least just have a little player photo there. Just plain Jane signatures. And UDX Signatures, Marlon Bird. I haven't heard that name in a while. And again with Frank Catalanato. Oh, I love these. Patch Auto. Greg Golson, Top's Finest. Love, 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 love these. This is 2009. This is numbered out of 75. Uh, the regular version of these is just wide around this. This is a refractor version. I guess that's why it's numbered to 75. Love, 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 those. Alright, this is another lightweight package. That one there in the middle. We'll save that for last. It's the heaviest. Let's see if we can get into this without cutting myself for the cards. Oh, 
Alright, this looks like baseball parallels, maybe? Usually I've been buying autographs, but maybe this is just parallels. Let's see, uh, Jonathan Hernandez, Blue Shimmer Auto. Not numbered. This is 2019, by the way. Or maybe it's numbered and num Yep, there it is. It's hiding. Numbered to 150. Tejada. I don't know why this is not in a sleeve, at least. Light blue to 402. Terang. Very nice. I like him. Blue to 402. Cedric Mullins. This is number two, four ninety nine. I think this is like sky blue or something like that. Helio Ramos purple to two fifty. Shane Boz to two fifty purple. Jake Wong to four ninety nine. Alec Thomas to four ninety nine. Another like light blue. And Corey Ray. I guess this is teal to one twenty five. I wish these were in sleeves. Good grief, Almighty! You folks are killing me. You're killing me. This is crappy, crappy packaging. It's gonna kill me. I'm gonna stroke out. If you sent me that package, shame on you. You gotta respect the cards. Alright, since these are really stuck together, let's just try to keep the front and back in their cases. That is Dre Anderson from 2015 Draft Picks and does this say I can't even read it because it's so dark. Demonte Kazi or Kazi to 199. This what is this? What is this? It's a mystery. Vertex. Okay, I don't think I've ever bought a box of Vertex, so that would explain why I had not a clue. Alan Hearns Select Auto. This is a Parallel version, I think. Yeah, the 99. That's not a bad card. Hard hats, Kenyon Barner. Love these acetate clear acetate card autograph. Mike Williams, press pass auto to 199. I think that's a silver parallel. Alfred Blue. He had what two two seasons where he made a bit of a difference and then he just disappeared after that. Like into the Bermuda Triangle of football players. Katie Cannon, Rookie Ticket Auto, Malik Jefferson Auto. This is 2018 Panini, numbered to 99. Jeff Mail, Hit. Uh, Kerry Robinson, it's not bad either. Panini Black, Rookie Auto to 199. Kenny Vaccaro, New Generation 2013 Certified Red to $2.99. Then we have another stack. One of these days you are going to see me slice my hand open. I'm just, I'm just warning you in advance. It's going to happen. All right. Christine Michael. That's nice. 2013 Prominence. Claw signature to 120, I mean 105, Rookie Gridiron GMs. I was actually, uh, these prominent boxes are always affordable. They're always cheap, but sometimes they're more cheap than other times, and I was thinking about picking up a few more. Yeah, your odds of getting anything too great, you know, is not super high, but you can still get some good looking stuff, and this is an example of one of those cards. All right, Jamel Dean, this is 2019. Prism Draft Picks Autograph. He's an Auburn player, but I I do not remember his name, and I watch a lot of their games. So Panini's probably really scraping the bottom of the barrel there. I don't know. Maybe Jamel will prove me wrong. I'm sorry, Jamel. Don't take it personal. Tops Platinum Travis Benjamin Rookie Auto. That's sweet. 2012. Nice. Vince Mail. Yeah, he's... I don't know where he's at. I think he's come and gone. To two ninety nine. Had a lot of promise. He's got tons of autographs and patch cards out, but just didn't pan out. Darren Hall, two thousand nineteen contenders draft. Marcel Darius, man, he was so good for Alabama. Rookie of the century. Two thousand 
2011 Elite number 499. That's a nice card. Whether you like Alabama players or not, that's a good looking card. I love that green, dark green. Here's another prominence. Josh Boyce, rated, this is the rated rookie manufactured patch auto to 225. And Brian Otten, another rookie gridiron gems to 10698. I don't know. I just don't know. Anyways, that's it. Wrapping this one up. Thanks so much for watching my mail day videos. Love you guys. Take care. Hope you're having a great week. And I'll be back with you all again soon.